If you're out in Fargo right now, we're seeing a mix of sun and clouds a little bit better than just a couple of hours ago when we were seeing overcast skies. Still a little gray in the area though. However, some areas are actually in worse shape as we're seeing some scattered showers in a few thunderstorms rolling through portions of Lakes Country. And one of the biggest things we're watching out for is some more funnel cloud activity. Earlier in eastern North Dakota, there were a couple reports of funnel clouds popping up in eastern North Dakota due to some of these storms having enough spin associated with them to try to produce that funnel cloud potential. And that energy has shifted into Lakes Country. So all of Lakes Country has the potential to see some funnel clouds even a small risk of a tornado. So we're going to be watching Lakes Country very carefully for the next couple of hours. It won't be until at least 8 or 9 p.m. that the threat begins to die down. Other than that, more showers and storms tonight and tomorrow. More rain chances on Monday and Tuesday, but we're heating up and drying out by the end of next week. To see what's going on, let's go over current conditions. Currently, temperatures are in the low 70s in Fargo, 75 in Grand Forks. Mid 60s in Southern Lakes Country, we're seeing those showers and downpours really taking place. Most of the activity again is taking place in the southern half of the Red River Valley all the way into southern and central Lakes Country. For example, we have a couple of strong thunderstorms in the northern half of Otter Tail County, just to the east northeast of Pelican Rapids and to the southwest of Frazee, making its way towards Detroit Lakes, for instance. We got a couple of strong downpours in Otter Tail County. We're watching those very carefully as we head into the night. These showers and downpours are connected to this area of low pressure, which is moving east southeast. And as it does, it's bringing the instability and moisture needed for these scattered showers and storms. Our model shows where the heaviest rain is, and it's more or less initializing correctly, basically showing where the heaviest rain is in Lakes Country. As we head into the evening hours, that rain will begin to settle down. And overnight, we're just left with a few isolated showers lingering in the Red River Valley. So most of the heavy rain will be done by midnight, but a few showers will linger for the morning commute tomorrow. Thereafter, more showers and storms will pop up after midday, leading to a couple isolated downpours similar to today. So basically, expect some on again, off again rain chances, maybe even a summertime downpour and a couple rumbles of thunder. Most of that shower activity does die down by midnight heading into Monday morning, though. How much more rain are we expecting? Well, between tonight and tomorrow some areas like in Lakes Country for instance could see around half an inch to an inch of rain. Most areas will probably see less than half an inch of rain due to the scattered nature of the storms. One of the things we're watching out for is that temperatures will rise as we head towards the end of next week. As we dry out and sunshine returns, an upper level pattern will force temperatures into the upper 80s to low 90s towards the end of next week. So the heat is on as we get towards the end of next week. So here's what our, tip, here's what our 11 day planner looks like. Sunny skies between Wednesday of next week and looks like mid July, but again, highs in the upper 80s to low 90s. Well, it's good to see that we're going to have some warmer weather ahead. It's too bad about this rain that we're going to get these next couple days. Yeah, I'm sorry, but at least <laughs> next weekend is going to be much better. Well, hopefully it'll it'll be a lot better soon. Yeah. Well, after the break, employers are continuing to hire, but unemployment is creeping up. Find out why that is next.